everyone's had a great week around campus. Now here's Tristan with School News. Hey DRGN, it's Tristan, I'm doing School News. Okay, so CMS, just remember that your course selection date ends March 4th. Um, your GTLA Passion Project display is from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. on March 4th again. CMS, we have the Passion Project, Project exhibition coming up. It's on Monday, March 4th from 4.30 to 6.30 here at Carroll Middle School. And you'll be able to see beautiful paintings, original songs, computer coding, science experience, films, business proposals, and much, much more. It will be an evening of incredible kids who have pursued their hearts and passions. Thank you. Math Counts qualifies for state. 12 students participated in DFW Mid-Cities Math Counts team placed first in the chapter regional competition held at UT Arlington on February 17th. They competed against schools across the region in the individual as well as team rounds. In addition to the first place team, six finished in the top 10. Odyssey of the Mind is going to state. CMS Middle School had four teams of seven children compete over the weekend in North Texas Regional Odyssey of the Mind competition. They placed first, 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 and third. All of the teams qualified to go to state in the competition in March. The One Act Awards, um, Theater 3 class plus Jack Pascal <laughs> performed in the District 1 Act competition on February 17th. They finished fourth overall. CISD Special Olympics store opened through March 4th. Check out the first store benefiting our Dragon Special Olympics team. Back to you, DRGN. Good afternoon, CMS. This is DRGN. I'm Ellie, and I hope that everyone has had a great week around campus. And now here's Samara with Celebrity Birthdays. Hey, DRGN. It's Samara with your Celebrity Birthdays. If you have a birthday on March 4th, you share a birthday with Dave Pilkey. If you have a birthday on March 5th, you share a birthday with Madison Beer. If you have a birthday on March 5th, you share a birthday with actor Milo Manham. If you have a birthday on March 7th, you share a birthday with actress Jenna Fisher. If you have a birthday on March 8th, you share a birthday with actor Kit Connor. If you have a birthday on March 9th, you share a birthday with actor Oscar Isaac. And if you have a birthday on March 10th, you share a birthday with actor Chuck Norris. Back to you, DRGN. Here's Malin and Riley with 7th grade sports. I'm Malin and I'm here with... Summer. How is shot going so far? Good. Okay, <laughs> what events are you running in? 400 open and 300 meter hurdles. Hi, I'm Riley and I'm here with... Aylin. What events are you in for track? Long jump, triple jump, 4x1, and open 100. How do you think the last track meet went? Fine. Who am I here with? Reese. How's track season going so far? Pretty good, you know. What events are you in? Uh, 300 hurdles and 100 hurdles. What place did you get in hurdles? So I got first in the 300 and second in the 100. Yes, good job. Thanks. I'm here with... Jackson. What events are you in for track? Long jump, triple jump, 300 hurdles, 4x2, and 4x4. How do you think track season is going so far? I think we're, do we're doing good because we got third place on Wednesday. Back to you, DRGN. Back to you, DRGN. And I'm here tomorrow with 8th Grade Sports. Hey, it's tomorrow with your 8th Grade Sports, and I'm here today with... Maggie Sobral. And so, Maggie, what's your favorite track and field event? Probably 100 meters. Cool. Are you looking to break any records? No. <laughs> no? No, probably not. I'm here with Adele. And so Adele, what's your favorite track and field event? Um, pole vault. And are you looking to break any records this year? Probably not. No? <laughs> I'm here with Valentina. Um, so Valentina, what's your favorite track and field event? Uh, probably the 100 meter or the 4x1. And are you looking to break any records this year? No. No? <laughs> I'm here with Jack Roten. Okay, Jack, what? What's your favorite track and field event? My favorite event is the 110 hurdles. And do you want to break the record this year? Yeah, I'd like to break the record for the 300 meter hurdles. Back to you, DRGN. I'm Emery and I'm here with... Marilyn. If you could take the moon out of the sky, what do you think it would taste like? Cheese. If you could pop the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Maybe cheesy. I'm here with Arzo, Chaya, Omni Tuma. <laughs> if you could take the moon out of the sky and pop it in your mouth, what would it taste like? Rocks. Rocks. Smarties. Rocks. <laughs> it would taste like a block of cheese. I'm here with Kelsey. 
And if you take the moon out of the sky, what do you think it tastes like? Taste? Taste? Ice cream. I'm here with Sterling. And if you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Um, whipped cream. I'm here with Olivia, <laughs> Samia. And if you could take the moon out of the sky, what do you think it would taste like? Cheese. 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 If you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Cheese. <laughs> if you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Um, probably chocolate. If you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Cheese? If you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Um, like, like the gray stuff from like Disney. Yeah. If you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Cheese. If you could take the moon out of the sky, what would it taste like? Vanilla chocolate mint ice cream. Cheese. Maybe cheesy. A block of cheese. 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 Have a great day, CMS, and we'll see you around campus. Bye. Have a great day, CMS, and we'll see you around campus. Back to you, DRGN. Hey DRGN, it's Tristan. I'm here with. Oh, wait, I'm not here with anyone. Oh, this is so weird. Yes, good job. Thanks. Have a great day and see you around. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. Have a good day and see you around. <laughs>